welcome to in jamaica and if this is your first time here please subscribe click the notification bell and stick around to see places in jamaica this video is aimed at giving you a general overview but you can check the video description for added information currently we are driving west on the Ocherius bypass and we'll be going to 9 mile using highway 2000 the journey from Ocherius to 9 mile via highway 2000 should take approximately 1 hour and 11 minutes covering a distance of 45.2 kilometers which is 28 miles on the right we are passing the Ocherius Transport Center and just beyond is the Ocherius Market the road on the right is Evelyn Street and that road will take you onto Main Street which is the art of Ocherius and there you will find the Ocherius Clock Tower on the left is Boxfield Community Also on the left is the Eight Rivers Town Centre shopping mall and the road just ahead on the right is Graham Street. There are several ways to get to Nine Mile but I'll highlight three main routes. Route 1 is Ocherius through Senans Bay, Runaway Bay, Brownstown, Alexandra to Nine Mile. Route 2 is Ocherius through Fern Gully, Orange Park, Golden Grove, Claremont to Nine Mile. And Route 3, which is this route, Ocherius onto Highway 2000, Golden Grove, Claremont. To nine mile which is the best and best means best road condition for vehicles I would say route 1 which is Ocherius through St. Anne's Bay Runaway Bay Brownstown Alexandra to nine mile which is best for adventure example countryside drive I would say route 2 and 3 yes Route 3 also, which is this route. The highway route is a nice countryside drive. We are now at the intersection of Milford Road and Ocherius Bypass. Going left here will take you onto Route 2, which is through Fern Gully. We are now heading towards the highway and on the right is the Turtle River Park. On the left is the Ocherius Jerk Center. The road on the right is Main Street Ocherius. To the right is the Ocherius Cruise Terminal. On the right is Reynolds Pier.
On the right, this stretch of roadside walkway is spanning from the Ocherous Cruise Terminal area to the beautiful Duns River Falls is known as the One Love Trail. On the right is Little Duns River Beach. On the left is Mystic Mountain Rainforest Adventure. On the right is Dolphin Cove. On the left is Duns River Falls and Park. On the right, you can find Pearly Beach. On the right, you can find Laughing Waters Villa.
we have reached the highway and we'll be taking the first exit which is left towards Kingston and St. Catherine Parish. The second exit will take you to St. Anne's Bay, Runaway Bay, Montego Bay and Negril. Additionally, the second exit will take you to Nine Mile Route 2 which is through St. Anne's Bay, Runaway Bay, Brownstone, Alexandra to Nine Mile. We are now driving on Highway 2000 towards the Golden Grove exit which will take us to Nine Mile. The name of the highway is the Edward Siaga Highway and it is also referred to as Jamaica North South Highway or Highway 2000. The sign on the left shows Golden Grove is 12 kilometers, approximately 7.5 miles away. We are now passing through the southern section of Steertown.
we have reached the Miami Bay Toll Plaza and from here we'll collect a toll pass and pay when exiting the toll at the Lidford Toll Plaza in Golden Grove. We are now entering Golden Grove. We will be taking the exit on the left to the Lidford Toll Plaza in Golden Grove. If we had continued straight the highway would take us to Monig, Spanish Town and Kingston. We have reached the Lidford Toll Plaza and we'll pay here. As at the date of this video, the cost for a class 1 vehicle, a car, is Jamaican $250, equivalent to US $1.67. We are now making the left to Golden Grove Town. The right will take us to communities such as Hermitage, Davis Town, Chalky Hill, Steer Town, and Jotsal. The road on the left is the Opwell to Golden Grove Road and that road will take you to the Golden Grove All Age School, Orange Park, Salisbury, Opwell, Walker's Wood, and the other communities. The road on the right is Smithfield Street.
just a reminder in Jamaica we drive on the left side of the road and just now I switch to the right because the truck driver signal us to take the right lane On the right is the Golden Grove Methodist Church We'll be making the right towards Claremont and Brownstone. If we had continued straight, which is basically left, then that road will take us to Manig and Yuatan. Additionally, going right, which is in this direction, will also take us to Edinburgh Castle and Minard Great House. On the left is the Bethesda Gospel Hall Church. We are entering Beechamville and Claremont. The sign on the left says welcome to Claremont. On the right is the Beechamville Art Academy. On the right is Armani All Road.
On the left is the Beechamville Methodist Church. On the left is Miracle Tabernacle Church and on the right is Fern Court High School. On the left, you can find Claremont New Testament Church of God and also the Claremont Library. On the right is the Claremont Post Office. We'll be making the left at the Claremont Clock Tower towards Nine Mile. On the right is the Claremont Courthouse and also we are at the foot of the Claremont Clock Tower. If we had continued straight, the road would take us to Green Park, Higginton, Lime Hall, St. Anne's Bay, Britannville, Lumsden, Ebenezer, Bambo, Brownstone, and other communities. Also to the Minard Great House. On the left is Claremont Faith Tabernacle Apostolic Church. On the left is the Claremont Seventh-day Adventist Church. On the left is Covenant Word and Worship Ministry. On the right is the Claremont All Age School.
we are in the Coltar Grove community and on the left is the Coltar Grove Baptist Church. We are now at Rambo District and the name of this road is Bob Marley Way. The overwhelming chirping sound you are hearing is coming from the bugs or crickets that are in the bushes.
we are now at Alderton. The road on the left will take you to Edinburgh Castle, Armany Vale, Benston and Pedro River. The stone sign on the left says welcome to Alderton. We are now en route to Prickly Pole, Nine Mile, Regalan, Alva and Alexandria. The stone sign on the left says the Alderton Citizens Association welcomes you and the road on the right will take you to the Alderton Primary School. On the left is the Alderton Methodist Church. On the right is the Alderton Apostolic Church of Jesus Christ. The road on the left will take you to York Castle, Matt Doyle and other communities. We are still en route to Prickly Pole, Nine Mile, 
Alva and Alexandria. On the left is Alderton Church of God of Prophecy.
we are now entering Brissett's run. The road on the left here will take you to Prickly Pole community. On the right, just below, is the Prickly Pole Primary School.
we are now entering Sims Run community. On the right, just below, is Mount Zion Apostles of Christ, Outreach Ministry, Charity Organization and Temporary Emergency Shelter, Joseph and Naomi Training Facility. Entering Nine Mile. The stone sign on the left says welcome to Nine Mile. On the left is Roden Hall Basic School. Nine Mile is famed for the birth and resting place of Bob Marley. Robert Nesta Marley, OM, popularly Bob Marley. Born 6th of February 1945, died 11th of May 1981 at age 36, was a Jamaican singer, songwriter and musician. He was considered one of the pioneers of reggae. Bob's distinctive vocal and songwriting styles increased the visibility of Jamaican music worldwide. Here is where Bob Marley's musical career began and Nine Mile also influenced many of his songs. The Greatest Hits album, Legend, was released in 1984 and became the best-selling reggae album of all time. Bob died as a result of illness in 1981 and his fans around the world expressed their grief.
here on the right you can find the Bob Marley Mausoleum the Bob Marley Mausoleum is a tourist attraction it has many historical artifacts including guitars, awards and photographs there are two mausoleums on the property the first is that of Sidella Booker Bob Marley's mother known as Mama Marley The second contains the remains of Bob Marley himself. His body lies buried along with his guitar in a 2.5 meter tall, approximately 8.2 feet marble mausoleum inside a small church of traditional Ethiopian design. Bob received a state funeral in Jamaica and was posthumously honored after his death with a designated order of merit. In 1994, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rolling Stone ranked him number 11 on its list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. On the left is the Sidella Marley Booker Basic School. Please remember to subscribe to In Jamaica. Give us a like and share and thank you all for watching.